Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Since fall is right around the corner, today I wanted to share my most used bags of this past summer. This video was inspired by my very good friend Lux First Love, who filmed a video very similar to this about a month ago. All right, so before we jump right in, I just want to say two things. First and foremost, you'll have to uh, forgive me if there are a ton of cuts throughout this video. Uh, I woke up with the worst sore throat. Like, I don't think I've had a sore throat like this since I was a teenager. So hopefully I can get through this video without too many cuts or without too many <clears throat> But if you hear that <laughs> quite a bit or if you see a lot of cuts, now you know why. And uh, when it comes to summer bags for myself, here in Southern California, it gets really, really hot. It can get really, really muggy. And even though I do prefer uh, larger totes or larger bags in general, I really find that I don't reach for those types of bags as often in the summertime. And really it's because of the heat that I'm already producing from this area, you know what I mean? So if I have a big bag on top of all this, it's, it's just way too much. So there is definitely a theme going on with these bags as I have them right in front of me. And you guys will notice that too. So again, I just wanted to I wanna throw those two things out there very quickly. Uh, now let's jump right into the bags and they are in no particular order. Starting with the first one, the Balenciaga Extra Extra Small Everyday Tote in the color mink. I know that for the longest time I have, re I have been referring to this bag as taupe and that's really because the website that I purchased it from said taupe so I kept thinking, okay, it's taupe but it is actually the color mink. I had some of you guys uh, message me, you're like, Minnie, I can't find taupe, I can only find mink. My apologies. Again, this is in the color mink. Uh, but this bag has been wonderful this past summer. Uh, because of what I said before, I really don't wanna go for a bigger bag or a bigger tote. The fact that this one does come with a removable adjustable crossbody strap I think is wonderful. It has a very generous, uh, it has very generous adjustments as well. So it's not like you only have two adjustments and it's gonna be either too short or too long, definitely not. So I do love that. But truth be told, I do prefer to hand carry this bag. I think it makes, I don't know what it is. I just think that this bag in general, whether it's hand carried, cross body, or on your shoulder, it is so incredibly comfortable to the point where I honestly feel like I don't have a bag on at all, which freaks me out because it's happened more than, on more than one occasion. Like I'm at Target and I'll sit there and I'm like, oh, my bag, you know? You know how like you have that like that mini freak out moment? <laughs> That's what I have and it's literally either cross body. That's how lightweight this bag is, even with all the stuff that I end up putting in here. So I just <laughs> had to throw that out there. Uh, but I love the size. Uh, as I've said in other videos, even though it is smaller, it fits so incredibly much. It fits all of my daily essentials, no problem. So I do think that's wonderful. One other thing that I wanted to point out is this leather. Now this material, it's, it's pretty thin leather. And I will be honest, there was a moment when I thought, okay, what if, you know, because these types of totes with this type of leather, uh, they don't really end up aging very well. They end up uh, having a lot of cracks on the varnish here, or they'll have a lot of tears. And so far, so good. No issues, no cracking, no peeling, nothing like that. And I have put this bag through the ringer. I'm not very careful, careful with it whatsoever. And I have no scratches. I have no gnarly indentations or anything like that. So uh, it's been holding up fabulously. And uh, I seriously cannot get enough of this bag. Like, <laughs> I absolutely love it. I saw that they had this on a pre-love website. They had it in yellow and they had it in baby pink. And I was like, no, no. You gotta, you gotta be good, you gotta be good. <laughs> but uh, if I could, I would get this bag in every single color. That's how much I love it. But it's been awesome for wear and tear. Very, very comfortable, such a joy to use. One other thing that I also wanted to throw out there, these little clips are a pain in the ass, all right? That's the, <laughs> that's the one thing that I really can't stand about this bag. I feel like I'm gonna bend my finger all the way back or my nail just to open it up. So this guy is not, it's not the best. It's not it's not very easy to get to get it on or to take it off. So I just wanted to throw that out there as well. But awesome awesome bag. 
uh, I really see myself using that bag throughout the year just because it's it's that that wonderful All right moving on to the Lueve basket tote. This is in the size medium and in the color tan now as I've said in other videos uh, I personally don't think that the materials of this bag really warrant the price point and that's really because 90% of it is the palm and then you have some leather trimmings But what I will say is that this leather is absolutely amazing so I, I think that this bag is amazing. I actually have it in white as well. And in the beginning of summer, I started using the white a lot more, but towards the end of summer, I started using the tan a lot more often. Uh, but I think that this bag is incredible. It's very simple, all right? Like I said before, it's 90% palm, but it works. And I try to talk myself out of this bag so many times throughout the years. Every time I saw it during the summertime, I would drool and I'm like, no, 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 it's, it's palm. It's palm with a little bit of leather trimmings, Many, You don't need it, you don't need it. But honestly, it's, it's an amazing bag. Uh, on the inside, it doesn't have any pockets. It's just an open little compartment here. I do have a Samorga organizer, which I'm so thankful that they started to make these, um, these organizers for these bags because it really is a game changer especially because you have these slip pockets here. So I do like that. Uh, I also like the fact that you do have some adjustments on this bag. You have a total of, I think two, <laughs> maybe three. I can't tell if one of them is covered up. Uh, so it does have some adjustment, but I really like this size. Like I said, this is the medium size. The small one is probably to here, and then the large one is massive. Um, and I love the large one as well, but uh, the medium works out for my lifestyle and it's, it's very, very comfortable. As I said, this leather is amazing. No issues with like cracking or peeling. Uh, the the palm, the, the little palm designer, what have you, hasn't really become too. Um, it hasn't really unwrapped, not unraveled, but usually on these guys they have some wear and tear where some of the palm starts to kind of uh, come through i have some of that i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it like right around here but it's not as bad as i thought that it would be uh, but this leather as i said is just very very comfortable and i love it i absolutely love this bag and like i said before even though it might not necessarily warrant the price point when it comes to the materials uh, it's a bag that I have been gravitating towards quite a bit this past summer. Uh, all right, moving on to my Predator, or AKA the Balenciaga Neo City in the size mini in the color uh, chalky white. Yes, chalky white. So this bag, um, you know, it's funny because as I've said in other videos, with Balenciaga, I felt like, especially the city bags, it was a bag that I always appreciated from afar, especially because it has so much history. But for me personally, I really like the Neo City. I like the fact that it has a little bit more structure. And I was worried about all these little, you know, all these little zippers and all these little tassels because you guys know I don't really go for very busy handbags. Uh, for me, usually the more simple it is, the better. But I love these tassels. And I don't know if it's because of the color, I feel like the color really helps to kind of uh, minimize how busy the bag looks. At least I feel that way. <laughs> I could be wrong, but uh, I, I think that this bag is incredible as well. Uh, the leather is amazing. No issues with uh, any type of scratches or anything like that. And I am so clumsy whenever I use this bag uh, because it actually does come with a removable <clears throat> adjustable strap. I don't like the strap whatsoever. I think it's really short. Whenever I go to use it crossbody, it literally fits like right underneath my chest and it just it does not it does not look good. I'm like, yeah, I can't pull this off. So normally, I do prefer to go for just a chain strap, a crossbody chain strap from organizing my bags and that works out perfectly. But uh, on the inside, as I said, this is the mini. Uh, it's very spacious. It's it's a lot more spacious than I thought that it would be. I mean, when you see it like this, you're like, what? You know, maybe it's it's got uh, so much on the outside, it doesn't have that much space on the inside, but definitely not. It's very, very spacious. I mean, you can't fit your larger wallets or anything like that in here either, um, but like mid-size wallets, no problem. And I do end up going a little bit more compact just so I can maximize my space, but it is wonderful. So whenever I do use a crossbody chain with this bag, uh, like I said, I am super, super, super clumsy. Like, let me give you an example. If there is an empty room and there is one pillar that has an abrasive service, surface in this enormous room, leave it to me. Somehow, some way, I will bump into that pillar, 
even if that room is empty, <laughs> like just to give you an idea. And I have been so clumsy with this bag and so far uh, not, you know, I don't have any scuffs or anything like that. I do have a little bit of dirt right there. Uh, the color, when I, when I saw the chalky white, I thought it was gonna be a lot more white, but to me it's more gray than white. So I also wanted to mention that as well, but love this little bag. I do prefer to use a crossbody, but using it hand carry like this is awesome as well. So awesome, awesome bag. And now, now I understand why so many people love the Balenciaga uh, city bag, especially the original, uh, because like I said before, it has so much history when it comes to handbags. All right, next up is the Louis Vuitton extra small keep all in the reverse monogram eclipse. This has definitely been a major favorite for the summertime because this girl right here, it's gonna sound so disgusting, but I don't care. Because it gets so muggy here, Sometimes I turn into Sweaty Betty. And what happens with Sweaty Betty, and if you have this beautiful, you know, untreated leather, you start to get stains or it just looks really gnarly, especially if I go to use a crossbody and stuff like that, it's nasty, all right? <laughs> so uh, the fact that this one does have the color treated leather has been amazing because when I do turn into Sweaty Betty, I don't have to worry about staining the leather. I don't have to worry about anything like that. So uh, it's been amazing. The size is perfect. Uh, again, I do like to use it crossbody. The strap that it comes with, I'm not too fond of the strap to be completely honest with you. I honestly think that it's kind of stiff and I've had it for, how long have I had it now? I wanna say, I don't know, four or five months, something like that. I thought that it would start to relax, especially for as often as I use it. And I just find that the strap is too stiff and it digs into my skin whenever whenever I go to use it crossbody. So I'm not too fond of this either. Again, I do prefer to go for a chain strap with this bag. I like the look of it a little bit more. Uh, and I also find that these little things that house the, the, the tabs, this one doesn't hold anything. So sometimes I'll find the bag like this and I really don't like it when I have a part of the strap kind of flailing in the wind because then these start to curl and I really don't like that. <laughs> so I just wanted to throw that out there. That's just a personal preference, but uh, it's still, even though it's small, it definitely fits all of my essentials, no problem. Um, and uh, it's, it's an awesome little bag. I love the reverse monogram eclipse. I know that quite a few people don't like the fact that you have the, you know, the, um, the reverse monogram eclipse upside down on the sides, but I love that feature. I don't know. It's, I think it's because it's unexpected because usually when it comes to monogram or when it comes to monogram eclipse, you're used to seeing the LV and everything in the upright position, but the fact that it's upside down, I don't know. I just think that it really adds to the bag. Maybe that's just me. All right, moving on to, oh man, I really wish the lighting in this room was a lot better so I can really show you guys. I know that I've talked about it before, but another bag that I used quite a bit this past summer has been this. This is the Cara mesh bag. I believe it's called the armpit mesh bag to be, uh, to be specific, but I love this little bag. I mean, not only is it ridiculously sparkly, so when it's, even though it's <laughs> blazing outside, I just have like this, this giant prism just coming from my shoulder or from my hand. I can't get enough of it. I get distracted by this bag whenever I use it because sometimes I'm sitting there like, oh my God, it's so sparkly. I love it. And not to mention that it has a friendlier price point than some of the other crystal bags that I have within my collection uh, because I do believe that these come in at, I wanna say 425. There are different sizes. The smaller size I believe is 375. They're available in multiple colors, but I really like it in the silver or in the clear just because that prism that it gives off is absolutely amazing. Uh, but this bag, very comfortable. Uh, it doesn't have any type of prongs, so you don't have to worry that uh, if you're wearing you know, a, a really delicate type of shirt that'll end up pulling on it. Definitely not, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I haven't had any crystals fall off, zero and I'm also just kind of like grab and go with this bag as well. I do have an organizer in here. The organizer is actually for my reissue, <laughs> uh, but otherwise it literally just sits like this. So I have to have an organizer in this bag, uh, but here is the interior. You can't really see what's going on, right? Because it's, it just turns into that beautiful mess. 
but it is absolutely gorgeous. It does have the magnetic closure here. Uh, I get so many compliments on this bag whenever I use it. And I mean, for the magpies out there that want a bag that's super, super sparkly, that's really comfortable, and that doesn't break the bank, I highly recommend the Cara uh, Crystal Mesh Bag or the Armpit Bag because it is amazing. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing. So I'm a fan. I saw on their website that they had this in like royal blue. Um, if I can find it, I will link it on the description box below. I will try to link as many of these bags if you guys wanna check them out as well in the description box below. But I, uh, I saw the royal blue and I'm like, stay away stay away but awesome awesome little bag uh all right next up is the Lueve mini puzzle and this is in the dusty rose yes even though the, the color says dusty rose to me it looks like milk chocolate that's that's what i see i don't know do you guys see the same thing but this little bag is amazing. Um, you guys know how I feel about puzzle bags. My red one was uh, almost my most used during the summertime, but I think, again, because of what I said in the beginning, this is a lot smaller, and it does come with a crossbody strap or with a removable strap that allows you to use it that way, so I really do like that as well. And uh, even though this is the mini, it is very spacious very spacious again you do have to go uber compact i do go uber uber compact and i'm able to maximize my space in here no problem but i love this little bag this leather ridiculously soft i've said it before that when it comes to Lueve, when it comes to, the, to their leather it is out of this world it is amazing super super soft no issues with pop stitches no issues with corner wear no issues with scratches or anything like that and uh, this, this bag has been on constant, constant repeat. I absolutely love it. I would change the fact that it does, even though it does come with a removable strap, the fact that you can't adjust it, it really limits you know, how, you, how you can use it in a sense. But again, the fact that you can remove it and add a different strap, I think is wonderful. But I think that if they had this to be adjustable, it would be a lot more user friendly and it would definitely be a game changer for it. Uh, so this one, there are times when I use it like this, but the handle drop is so small. I really don't like to use it. I really don't like to do this too often. Uh, so I end up using it crossbody. But love this little bag. So the Lueve uh, puzzle bag in the size mini in the color Dusty Rose. Oh, yeah. So this next bag I'm not going to spend too much time on. Only because I've talked your guys' ear off about it for the last year. But it is the Marc Jacobs mini tote bag in the color Morning Glory. Uh, this color has been amazing this past summer, uh, especially when I wanted a bright pop of color without it being too bright. I know that on camera it's showing up maybe a little bit more washed out, but it has this beautiful shade of pink. It's not Pepto-Bismol pink either, and it's not Barbie pink, but it absolutely works. And the fact that it does come with the gold hardware, I think is amazing. Uh, and even though this bag also comes with a removable adjustable crossbody slash shoulder strap, uh, and it does have generous adjustments, I personally prefer to use it like so, or sometimes I'll use it with a chain. I just really like the way that it looks. Here we go again with the whole chains. Uh, but the mini size is perfect because it still ends up fitting all of my daily essentials and then some. This leather is very comfortable. I can use this bag for extended periods of time, whether it is hand care, whether I hand carry it or on the crook of, crook of my arm, and it doesn't dig into my skin. Uh, even if I do have a lot of items in here, it doesn't get too heavy, which I absolutely love. No issues with wear and tear either. And I have used this bag so much this past summer. Uh, no issues with peeling leather, no issues with pop stitches. I mean, the quality really is amazing when it comes to, to these totes and the leather is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And on top of that, you have an awesome, awesome price point. Uh, what I also like about these totes is that if you are, if you normally end up going for uh, neutrals when it comes to the colors in your handbag and if you want to try out color uh, I think that this is a great way to go because it doesn't break the bank and you have a variety of colors that you can pick from so that way it's kind of like taking baby steps into adding color into your collection uh, so this is one that I highly recommend if you are looking to add pops of color into you know to your handbags maybe not necessarily pink uh, but they have every color under the sun and I think that they are all absolutely amazing 
Moving on to the next one, which is the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy, the old style in the monogram canvas. As you guys know, I did remove the straps and removing the straps for me was the greatest thing I could have ever done. And I really, I kept thinking, why did it take me so long to do this? Uh, I mean, I know that in the beginning when I had this bag, I used it quite often, uh, but I was also very chicken to remove it because I kept thinking, what if, what if, what if I changed my mind? What if it's not a forever bag? What if, you know, all these things started popping into my head. But I also, I, I mean, I also realized that removing the strap and being able to add something else would give it so much more versatility. And uh, it definitely ended up working out for me. And this bag has been on constant, constant repeat this past summer just because it's not too big. Uh, and it's also not like teeny tiny. It's very functional for my lifestyle. And again, being that, uh, or the fact that I can end up using a different strap on here has been absolutely amazing. I do prefer to go for a chain strap with this bag as well. I like the look that it gives it and it also doesn't make it too heavy either. Now this little bag, as I've said before, this is the Mary Poppins of handbags because I can fit all of my daily essentials and then some, no problem. Of course, I do have to go uber compact, but even when I go uber compact and if I have all of my stuff in here, if I have all of my daily essentials and then some, uh, whenever I take something out, it's not a pain in the butt to put it back in either. You know how there are those bags that they're small and you have so much in there that once you take one thing out, I feel like you have to take everything out and reorganize uh, all the contents of your bag in order to, to put it back in. I don't find that happens with this bag, at least not for me, uh, but it is just, it is amazing. It's small, but it's it's so incredibly mighty. And um, I think I think it's amazing. I really, I'm, I just, every time I use it now, I'm like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I should have just removed the strap long ago, but hey, live and learn, right? And this ended up working out for me. I know there are some people out there that have removed the strap and they have regretted it. And I completely understand that, that viewpoint as well. But uh, for me, the versatility was just, it, it outweighed everything else, you know? So I, uh, I love this little bag. No issues with pop stitches, no issues with wear and tear. Uh, and this canvas to me reminds me of old school Louis Vuitton canvas as well, because it's not really, it's not flimsy. It's not lightweight. It has that, I feel like you can always tell when you have that thicker canvas because some of the newer bags, I feel like you can't really do this. I don't know, does that make sense? <laughs> but uh, I feel like with the older ones, you just have that, that thickness that you can really appreciate. I don't know. Let me know if you guys think I'm crazy because uh, as I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? But anyways, the Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy old style in the monogram canvas. Oh, and one other thing, no issues with uh, chipping of the hardware either. So I wanted to mention that as well. The next bag is the Prada Re-Edition 2000 Crystal Bag in the color black. So for me, this is a bag that I don't think you have to dress up. You guys know that I am a very casual dresser. So all of these handbags, I almost always end up using them with a t-shirt and jeans. And I love, love, love using this bag with a t-shirt and jeans because this is the thing that pops. This is the bag that just absolutely works with whatever I think that you're wearing. And uh, I do have the white one as well. And kind of like what happened with the Lueve, I started using the white one a lot more in the beginning of summer, but then towards the end of summer, I noticed that I ended, ended up gravitating a lot more towards the black. And I really think it's because, again, I turn into Sweaty Betty. So can you imagine Sweaty Betty with, with the white one? The handle would have turned like bright yellow by now. So I know that's disgusting. That is TMI, but it is what it is. So this one really ends up helping to, uh, to cover up any of that, <laughs> any of those stains, if you will. Uh, but I think that this bag is, I, I love it. Like I absolutely love it. Kind of along the same lines as the Cara bag. I find myself just distracted by it whenever I use it. I'll sit there like an idiot, like looking at it in the sun or looking at it under like boutique lights. And I'm just like, oh my God, I love it. I love it. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's like the magpie in me that just like my heart sings for this bag. And I know some people are like, dude, it's it's way too much. It's way too gaudy. But it, I think it is the right amount of gaudy. It is the right amount of of just prism and crystals that just just work with this bag. Like if I if I could, 
I would get this bag in every single color that it's available in. That's how much I love it. The prism that these crystals give off is out of this world. They are so shiny and so distracting. Such a magpie bag, you know what I mean? So I am all for it. And not only that, it's actually very spacious as well. So you don't have any, obviously you don't have any pockets on the exterior, it doesn't have any feet. Uh, and um, the interior, I do have another, <laughs> I have some organ organizer in like 90% of my bags just to help with the shape, but I do have an organizer in there and it's been amazing. I feel like I can end up fitting all of my daily essentials and then some. Usually with this one, I don't push the envelope. I really don't uh, overload it just because I don't wanna put too much strain on the crystals, although I haven't had any crystals fall off. No issues with the crystals whatsoever, uh, but still, I am a little bit more mindful, especially because you guys know I do have a tendency to overstuff all of my bags, but so far so good. Uh, but it's been wearing like a champ, no issues, and it's it's awesome, it's awesome. So for me, wearing this, again, with a t-shirt and jeans out when it's like 120 degrees and it's like 90% humidity, it kind of takes away from the heat and the humidity just because I think it's so unbelievably beautiful and it's a welcome distraction, you know? So <laughs> I uh, I am all about it. So the crystal, uh, or the Prada Re-Edition crystal bag in the black, I sincerely hope, and you guys have to help me out, if you hear that they're going to release this in red, like for um, for fall or for winter, you, ha you have to let me know. You Can you imagine this bag in red? Oh, I would, <laughs> I would be like over the moon with that bag. Uh, all right, so moving on to the last one. I don't think it's gonna surprise any, it might surprise some of you guys, uh, but it is the Chanel Coco Handle in the size small, medium, I don't know, it has the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quilts across, I always refer to it, because some people call this a medium, some, pe some people call it the small, and we know that Chanel just says Coco, or uh, says top handle, so. Uh, anyways, this is in the white caviar leather with a champagne gold hardware. As you know, this is my white whale. This is the one. Uh, and this bag has been amazing this past summer. It just brings a type of freshness to my outfits, even if they're simple, even if they are very, very, uh, <clears throat> very uh, casual. I love the fact that, for me anyways, I feel that these bags, or Chanel bags, uh, or any bag, you can dress them up and dress them down. Uh, I mean, I will, I will rock this bag at the grocery store. Why not? I will rock it at the post office. You know, I don't think that any bag has to be dressed up. You don't have to be dressed to the nines in order to enjoy any handbag. At least that's the way that I see it. You know, I proudly wear this bag with sneakers, with my Vans, and I love the way that it looks. Uh, but this size is Perfect. It is absolutely perfect. I do have the mini. I like the mini in the black, but I love, like I love <laughs> the size of this Coco handle. It's perfect. If it's all of my edential, uh, my edentials, my essentials, I almost sound, it almost sounded like I was saying dentures, right? <laughs> if it's all of my essentials uh, and then some quite nicely, it's not, you know, it's not this teeny tiny bag. It has a very generous opening. I can see everything at a glance. I love that it has feet along the bottom. You also have a removable strap. Uh, you have one little slip pocket back here. And I love using this bag as a hand carry bag. I don't really like to use it um, as a shoulder bag. Uh, I know some people also use this crossbody. I don't like the way that it looks crossbody on me because it is a little bit larger and I feel like it makes my chest look even bigger. We don't want that. <laughs> we definitely don't want that. Uh, but I, I think that this bag is amazing. So it has been in constant, in constant rotation this past summer, and I'm so happy that um, I pulled the trigger on it, and it's exactly what I was looking for. Now, having said all of that, what is the one thing that I always talked about when it comes to white handbags? I always said that, you know, in the back of my mind, I had to know that there was a chance that it would end up uh, getting, um, it would start to yellow as time went by, right? Well, my friends, how long have I had this bag? Mm, a couple months, maybe a few months. 
and I am anal when it comes to how I store this bag. I have it in two dust bags. I don't leave it out in the sun. I am mindful when it comes to how I end up, you know, uh, storing all of my handbags. However, I also have some yellowing happening on this strap. Let me take this off because I, I told you guys, I will always share the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, there we go. So on one side of this strap, it's a lot more yellow. I don't think the camera's gonna be able to, to pick it up, probably not. This side is like the brighter white, and this side has a little bit more yellowing. If I can include a picture so you guys can really see it, I will. But I noticed it the other day when I, when I went to use it, I was like, oh, what is that? And um, I actually ended up using it um, I, one day where I was, when I was going to the Chanel boutique and I asked the sales associate and I asked her, I said, are my eyes playing tricks on me or has this started to yellow? And she's like, no, it absolutely has started to yellow. So I knew that going into it in the back of my mind. And you want to hear the craziest thing is that now that it has the yellowing that I knew it had the potential to get because I know some people, you know, have said that they've had their white handbags for like 10 plus years and no yellowing. And I think that's awesome, but that hasn't been the case for me. Uh, now that it has the yellowing, I feel like I can enjoy it way more than before. I enjoyed it before, but now it's like, I don't know. It's almost like not a weight has been lifted. That doesn't make sense. Um, but it's almost like when I start, when I get my first stain on a um, on a Vaquetta piece from Louis Vuitton or on any other bag, if I get my first stain, if I get my first uh, scuff, after that, I'm like, okay, now it's now it's into full blown use mode. I don't know. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I feel like that's what's happened with this bag, and. I'm absolutely okay with it. Like, <laughs> you'd think I would be heartbroken, but I'm not. I, it's, I'm, again, maybe it's because I knew in the back of my mind that this would end up happening. Um, and uh, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy, but just goes to show that sometimes the white handbags, they do end up yellowing as time goes by, kind of like the Speedy 30 in the Damien Azur. When I first got it, it was bright, bright white. Now it has a major yellow, you know, um, like not tint to it, but I like the yellowing that it has because it complements the leather so incredibly much. So I don't know, but I just had to share that with you guys. But yeah, it started to, to yellow. I don't love this bag any less. It doesn't make me want to put this bag on the shelf. On the contrary, it makes me want to use this bag even more. I don't know, <laughs> maybe I'm crazy, but um, I, it's a bag that I definitely, definitely don't regret buying whatsoever. But anywho, we are at the end of this video. My throat feels like it's on fire, oh my gosh. Uh, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information on each of these bags, especially if you're looking to add them to your collection. And even though these are ones that were on major repeat for me this past summer, I see that the majority of these bags are also going to transition very nicely into fall and into winter and even into spring next year. Uh, and as I've said before, I don't think that you have to dress a certain way in order to be able to, to use a bag. Uh, I love dressing them up and I love dressing them down, although 99.9% .9 of the time, I end up dressing them down because that's the type of person that I am. Uh, but uh, yeah, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys later. Oh, and I would love to know what were some of the bags that you used the most this past summer? Let us know in the comment section down below. But again, I love you guys and I'll see you later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.